I swear, this has just got to be like one of the quietest expansion pack releases ever for The Sims 4. And honestly, probably not even one of the quietest, but the quietest. Like, I even remember for game packs, like Werewolves, for example, the Twitter Q&As, the gurus would be posting images and revealing all sorts of information and tiny details, and they would not stop. Like, if you were watching my channel back in those days, you probably remember me uploading three to five videos every day for like two weeks. There was so much news, so much information, I could not even keep up with getting it up and getting it up as fast as possible to you guys. It was insane. There was so much hype. And literally, we are on release week. It is Monday, July 17th. We get a patch this week and we get the expansion for Horse Ranch this week. And we aren't hearing like anything at all. I mean, we got that one tweet from Matt Nedick, principal designer at EA for The Sims, for the official lot sizes because they didn't reveal the official lot sizes in the live stream obviously they just showed us the world we got to look at some things here and there but literally the gurus are like radio silent on twitter right now and the only thing that i can think of is i don't want to make assumptions i'm not saying this is fact but it's just an observation it's my opinion but i feel like there's a lack of passion here for this one and i'm not necessarily saying they didn't work hard on this but maybe it's a my wedding story situation where they were really given resource and time constraints that they did not like and were not proud of. Obviously, they made it work and created a pack for us that honestly doesn't feel like an expansion, feels more like a game pack, but I don't know. I just feel like if they're like super excited about something and super proud and passionate, they just share so much with us and they're always talking and replying to people and revealing things and I'm looking for tweets to talk about from at least the gurus and producers that work on this horse ranch expansion and there is literally nothing. It just feels so weird to go into a release week for a major expansion in the middle of the summer and have like either nothing or almost nothing. It's so strange and I don't think the pack is going to turn out like my wedding stories in the realm of it being like unplayable and everything's broken but just more so that maybe they just aren't super proud of it. Maybe. And kind of also again observation. It didn't seem like there was too too much enthusiasm during the stream and definitely not seeing too much of that on social media. We do have a couple responses, one of them coming from SimGuru George on July 14th, responding to a simmer ice moon moon. It is really one of my favorites in terms of the world. This neighborhood in particular is really fantastic. So we have like little responses like these here and there, but like you guys know what I'm talking about. When we get guru Q and A's before, not even just an expansion, but even game packs that are loaded down with gameplay, there's so many questions. They're like on there answering things. They're posting pictures. They're teasing. There's like no teasing at all. It's so quiet. I just, I can't be the only one that's picking up on this. Also notice how with that tweet, he basically says the world being one of his favorites and there's really no mention of gameplay whatsoever. Also, another thing that I'm kind of surprised about, especially for expansion packs is usually with how like the Game Changer program or the EA Creator Network, however you want to title it, usually we get early access content either from all of them or mostly all of them coming just a couple of days before the pack release. So I expect those videos to start rolling out Tuesday or maybe Wednesday. But there is also like a group of select individuals that usually have the watermark floating around on the screen. They get like an earlier review copy of it. Of course, not with all the other packs, but just the expansion in the base game itself and they usually always post their videos much earlier and it's Monday at 1 p.m. and we don't have anything so I'm starting to wonder does anyone even have early access were they giving it out this time and if so have they changed things are they holding embargo content for later and then of course once I start thinking about those things then I start thinking if they're doing that then why if the pack is lackluster if things aren't as good as they seem I guess it would make sense 
that they hold embargo content as close to release as possible to bring in as many pre-orders before the pack comes out. That would just be business and marketing, but I'm not saying that that's the case. Definitely something that I'm thinking about and something that I'm worried about, of course. But simmers in general are definitely really not happy or super excited about the upcoming release this weekend. A lot of the top responses on the Sims team's latest tweet are, of course, concerns for the lack of gameplay and the fact that this, in quotes, expansion pack feels more like a game pack. One user writes, unfinished gameplay for an overpriced expansion pack and inevitable major bugs with the latest patch. That's what they're excited for. I'm most excited for a confirmation on FPS drop fixes that's plaguing the game, but that's just me. I'm most excited to play the pack with the other packs I own for the most fleshed out experience. I guess the good news here is that there is a little bit of pack integration, but there's still a lot missing for the price. I'm sorry, it just feels like a scam. It really does. Upselling what feels like $20 worth of content for $40, definitely leaving a sour taste in many's mouths. There's so much missing with pack integration with horses that I'd love to see. Like, if you have cats and dogs and you have horses, like, there could be a whole vet thing. But, of course, that wasn't a part of the game. Really haven't brought this up yet here on the channel, but the Sims team is definitely well aware of of the criticisms for this expansion pack 2 all the way back at the end of June when the first trailer dropped. SimGuru Popcorn starts a thread thank you for the enthusiasm and criticism on the trailer. Everyone has a right to their opinion and I completely understand. We can't get better without feedback plus criticisms from the folks we make it for. It won't be for everyone but I really hope you'll give us a chance. If I'm not responding to a post it's likely that I'm unable to currently or it's something I don't have insight into. Gurus on here do our best to get the feedback to the folks that do. I expected a strong response to this and I'm doing my best to process. I'm honestly kind of glad that I waited to talk about this because reading some of these responses in hindsight knowing more now than we did back then kind of like confirms a lot of people's concerns unfortunately. Like for example one user, the trailer did not well in showcasing the pack. It is an expansion pack yet it feels feels like a game pack based on trailer and description. Not to mention, it also feels weird your team claims the Native American representation was a major part, yet you push on us cowboys and western. And reading that tweet from June 24th, today, almost a month later on July 17th, there is nothing that has really changed since this. This tweet came when we first got the reveal trailer. We've gotten a blog post, we've gotten descriptions, we've gotten a gameplay trailer, we've even gotten a, in quotes, deep die of live stream and we just haven't really discovered much of anything else. It's kind of just that, you know? It's definitely very disappointing and it's sad to read these tweets back and go, yup, just like always, we were right from the start, you know? But we love this franchise and we want the best for it, so of course we're gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. A lot of users also bring up how long the game has been out, so it kind of feels like it's a little too late to be asking for hope and chance from players and buyers because at the end of the day, we're buying these packs, you know? We're spending our hard-earned money on them. One user writing, ma'am, the game turns 10 this year. It might be a little late to ask for chances and Rudy tweets, how many chances does EA want? I think the development team can do little about the budget, but asking for chances after chances starts getting annoying. It's been nine years already. It's not like this game just came out and these are both very great valid points. Going back to what I mentioned earlier, I don't want to say the Sims team isn't passionate about what they're doing, but I believe a lot of the problem is probably coming from EA. I'm sure a lot of resources are being moved to Project Renee, so there's probably a lot less for The Sims 4 than there was before Project Renee, or before they really started advancing with it and showing us more information, you know? So there's only so much The Sims team for The Sims 4 probably has to work with for The Sims 4 as far as budget and time and deadlines and all of that. So they're probably probably doing the best that they can, which is why I say maybe it's possible they're just not proud of what they are doing because they want to give more, but they can't. So in better words, they are passionate about what they're creating for us, but the fact that they most likely can't give us what they want to give us because of these constraints, there being very little hype and excitement and info that they're sharing with us comes off as just a lack of passion. If I was
was a game developer and those were hurdles in my way, I would definitely not be passionate about sharing what I've worked on if I wanted to do more, you know? So that's just kind of the mindset that I have right now, giving the Sims team, the Sim gurus, the benefit of the doubt. Share your thoughts below on the upcoming expansion, how you feel like from what we've seen and what we've learned so far about content and gameplay, how does that match up to the price point that's set for the expansion? $40 for US residents, but unfortunately, a little more in other countries and territories. And also let me know what you think about the social media silence. If not complete silence, there have been some tweets here and there, but definitely nowhere near as much hype as we've gotten, not just for past expansion packs, but even for past game packs and even past stuff packs. Like I feel like there was more hype for like spooky stuff. Share your thoughts below. I'll see you guys next time. So long and happy life simming.